KGUN 9 on your side first warning weather with meteorologist Aaron Brackett. Well, good Saturday evening to you. We've got a little bit of a pattern change on the way, and this is our typical dry time of the year. We expect sunshine, warming temperatures, but we're actually going to slide down a little bit. It was a very hot April, and here's the reason why. An area of low pressure comes with a trough. It's going to be a very, very slow mover. Going ahead, uh, forward in time here, you can see how we're going to bring some clouds into the area, bringing some moisture in as we go into Monday and Tuesday. This thing is going to stick around. Now, we're going to be very low on the moisture for rain, but what we will have will be cooling temperatures. You see the jet stream pulling down those northwesterly winds, and that means cooler air, about 5 to 10 degrees below normal for much of the work week. In fact, it's going to be real nice across the area. So here's what one of our weather models is saying. All I want you to focus on is right here near southern Arizona, this orange and this yellow right here. That tells us that there's going to be lift in the atmosphere, and that helps us to form the storms. The problem is we'll be low on moisture. Look at this. One of the models saying, hey, there's going to be rain. Nowhere near the Four Corners region. Another model says, yeah, there'll be some spotty showers, but nothing of real consequence. So we're going to keep the rain in the forecast. It's going to be some very low chances as we head into tomorrow night and into Monday. Getting to that in a second. Back in time now, here is our high today, 93 in Tucson, 95 Casa Grande, just four away from 100 in Phoenix. And finally, those temperatures will start to slide down a little bit. We'll get a break. It's nice out right now, though. 69 in Wilcox, 67 Sierra Vista. We sit at an even 80 right now in Tucson. And of course, that will slide as we go forward in time. Very low dew point, 19, but that is actually up from earlier today. That was in the single digits for much of the time. Southerly wind at 12. You can see the branches on that tree moving around a little bit. And you can see that we have winds from the south or southwest generally tonight. 14 in Sierra Vista, 12 in Wilcox. Not anything of huge consequence once again, but here's what we are seeing. This is a bit of good news. Our humidity levels rising a little bit in Sierra Vista and Douglas in the 20s right now. We're going to have to increase that even further, though, if we want any of those raindrops to make it to the ground tomorrow night and Monday. On the clouds and the rain, not too much to see here, but a couple clouds in Cochise County, generally north of I-10. As you look into portions of New Mexico, earlier rain showers scooting off now. They'll be back tomorrow. As you can see, a lot of moisture has inundated our state in the upper levels, trying to prime the atmosphere lower and lower to possibly get a shower or two as we go toward the beginning of the work week. So Futurecast wants to paint some high thin clouds tonight. Early tomorrow, this is 8 o'clock on Sunday. Let's go forward now. You can see Pima County does clear out, but then the clouds do return. Some heavier cloud cover into Monday morning and even a couple spotty showers near the Catalinas. That's what that model says for tonight down to 53 though in Sierra Vista, 54 in Wilcox and elsewhere in the lower deserts. We generally see those lower 60s, some mid to lower 50s in Cochise County here in Tucson, heading down to 61. Rather mild will stay mostly clear throughout the night, although some passing clouds will be found 5 to 10 mile per hour winds out of the south. Heading toward tomorrow, we go to 91 degrees, a couple more clouds throughout the skies, slight thunderstorm chances mainly off to Tucson's northwest. Your seven day forecast shows some cooling that will happen. If we don't get the thunderstorms on Sunday or Monday, it will cool down to those middle 80s. Going to feel very nice all week long, actually below normal there. Another impulse coming Thursday and Friday. Just slight chances of storms there too. So although we're in the dry time of the year, we do have some significant chances for rain and we'll hopefully uh, get that as we go forward. But no yeah. snow. <laughs> no, 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 no snow. No we are snow. far well, from that, but some folks yes. aren't. Well, it's a good thing uh, we don't have to deal with uh, spring snow. Well, one man in Iowa didn't let the winter weather keep him from his yard work. Hmm. Yeah, it is what you think. This is the mayor of a small town in Iowa. He thought it would be funny to cut the grass despite a backyard covered in snow. And his wife took this video, which went viral. Obviously, after something like that, there he is cutting the grass. He doesn't know what a uh, snowblower is, by the way. <laughs> you know, that's a lawnmower. It's doing a good job that's, of clearing the snow. So. Though. Look at that. It's actually doing something. I think he got stuck a couple times there. But anyway, uh, wow. so <laughs> it's a sport. It's going to be a sport coming up, and we'll have yeah, sport. Yeah, Olympic sport. <laughs> and we'll have sports coming up in just a few minutes.